looks pretty good. <clears throat> Friday evenings, happy hour Pilates with Vivian. It is a 45 minute session and we'll be doing total body which will include the front, the back, the sides, we'll be seated and also face down. We'll get some bridging in to tighten up the buttocks and we'll be using the hand weights. Place one hand weight there right on the mat and we'll start with a meditative preparatory breathing. As you take that deep breath in through the nose, begin to understand why, why all this breathing? We breathe in yoga, we breathe in Tai Chi, there is some serious breathing in Qigong, and there is also breathing in Pilates. As you take that deep breath in, inflate. Use the exhalation, deflate, to compress the abs. Once again, breathe in. As you exhale, just once more, clear your mind and exhale. Now I've got this hand weight, I'm using an underhand grip, inhale to raise the weight and exhale supported with a brief stretch. Inhale, return and repeat the same exercise. Lift, come up and over, stretch. Woo, nicely done. We're just doing four total, so this will be your number three. Feel your spine bending, bending, lengthening, and return. This will be number four, so when you come up, rotate, and as you turn, place your hands and the weight down on the floor. Crank yourself around, pulling the abdominals in, and twist. As you return to face the front, you can lift the hand weight. All right. Grab the other hand way there, supposed to be preset, and let's do this other side. Here's the inhale to lift. Lean over as we continue to warm up the spine, not only the collection of bones, but all of the supportive muscles. Here's the inhale, providing plenty of oxygen to all of those muscles that support the bones. And return. This will be number three. I think I can go a little bit further. Keep those shoulders down away from your ears. Ooh, feel every exercise. This one being number four, I'll rotate and place my hands down on the floor. Push down, create some resistance, and rotate as you look away. Return through the center, pick up the hand weight, and bring it around behind your back. Both hands hold on to one weight. As you exhale, straighten those arms. All of the letters across my shirt should be pulled taut. Really open up that chest. Sink your head down, relax for a moment, inhale. Use the exhale and exaggerate those arms pulling back. Ah. And then return. Let's start with our tra pretty traditional roll down and roll up. Come to seated so that your feet are near the end of the mat. Be prepared to roll backwards. My hand weights will be on the floor for the first two roll downs. If necessary, if you're still learning the exercise, if you're still struggling with the exercise, then hold on to your thighs. As you exhale, rounding back. Arms over your head, inhale. The arms lift, your head lifts, your exhalation brings you upright. Go again. As you exhale, one vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae, and breathe in. Use the power of your exhalation, exhaling from deep in the torso. Then, the magic hand weights will play a very important role in this roll down. Oof. We'll be stopping when the arms are vertical. Careful not to throw your arms back. Exhale, lifting your head and crunching the abdomen and sitting up straight. Here we go again, scoop and roll, assisted by the hand weights. Inhale, use that breathing, close the ribs and rivet your navel. And we'll do another one here. Scoop the abdomen, round it back. Think of it as hollow your abs. This time, as you exhale, rolling up, stretch the legs out in front of you and reach out past your feet. 
on the inhale, begin to come back and continue with those long straight arms with really straight legs. Inhale. As you exhale, reach up toward the ceiling, change it up a bit and lift. Inhale. Come back with very tightly squeezing abdominals, roll back with a soft landing. Inhale. Now this time, listen, you will roll up and face the camera, one arm behind, arm in front, three, two, one. Come backward, rolling backward with very stiff, straight legs. Inhale. As you exhale, roll it, face away from the camera, arm behind, three, two, one. Inhale. You'll repeat the same exercise, roll down, inhale, roll up, reach, facing the camera, arm behind, three, two, one, inhale, take your time, inhale, as you ex, face away, three, two, one, come to center, Come only halfway, stay very, very scooped and hollow, and drop those shoulders. Just turn toward me, elbows wide. Just turn the other way, elbows wide. And we'll do it again. Just rotate, elbows wide, and last time. Come to center, continue backward very slowly, arms up, and then rolling up. Reach up toward the ceiling, reach up, toward the ceiling. Exhale, come halfway back, elbows bent, turn away from me, rotate. Inhale, keep those shoulders down, exhale. Again to the other side, exhale. Here's one more, rotation, rotation, rotation. Center and backward, one vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae at a time. Roll up, oof. Kick up one leg, and it doesn't matter whether it's straight or bent. Come on backward, one vertebrae, one vertebrae. Put your leg down, inhale. Rolling up, peeling up other leg, which could be straight or bent. Come on back, oof. When you put the leg down, it's knees bent, and both of your feet are flat. Try to attach the feet so they're closed, inhale. Roll up and lift both legs. Continue backward, one vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae. You know, don't drop. Inhale. As you exhale, rolling up, coming to seated, and really taking advantage of this dumbbell, right? One more. And come on back. This is it, rolling up, whoosh. Keep your hands closed or close together. Again, that rotation that you did before, rotate. You could sway your knees in the opposite direction, but don't speed up. Because we've got weights, oh, try it slow mode. Exhale each time. Come to center, backwards, one vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae. Keep moving, keep moving, roll up, roll up, roll up. Elbows bent, turn away from me, one. Face the camera, two. Keep the feet up, three. Crank yourself around, four. We've got five, and finally number six. When you're coming back, only ribs. Don't put your head down. You can put the weights down. Pump the arms. Inhale, three, four, five. Exhale, three, four, five. Breathe in, three, four, five. Blow out, three, four, five. Three, two, three, four, five. Four, two, three, four, five. Five, two, three, four, five. Begin straightening those legs. Six, two, three, four, five. Keep the chest open. Seven, two, three, four, five. Abs, 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 abs. Eight, two, three, four, five. Heads up. Nine, two, three, four, five. Lower the legs a tiny bit. Ten, two, three, four, five. Exhale, three, four, five. Rest. 
That's a doozy of an exercise and there's no Pilates session without it. <laughs> it's called the hundred. Hopefully you felt it. Whew. So now I've got hand weights here. I'm just going to hold on to them. They are on the ground. Don't try to lift them. Just hold on to them like they're just some kind of handles. We'll begin with knees bent, one heel at a time, heel tap. Seriously, just one leg at a time. So this is leg number one, tap. And then leg number two. I'll close the legs and now together both legs will go down with a soft touch. This exercise is pretty challenging and right away you should be feeling it. If you're not, there's a pretty good chance that you're just dropping your heels. You're just dropping your heels. And instead, I'm taking my thighs away. And boy, oh boy, can I feel my low abs. Keep holding on to the weights. You hold on to them firmly, but keep them on the ground. One more, reach, yay. Now you can let the weights go entirely, roll over, which we're doing only once. Get ready to roll over. Here it is. Using your hands, lift the hips up as high as you can. Your legs should remain very straight, although I think my legs have disappeared. <laughs> Tap your toes on the floor if you can, and then separate your feet. Keep them very straight and rolling down very slowly rolling down. Lift your head as soon as you can and then holding on to just one leg. Switch legs, breathe in, switch, blow out. Switch, breathe in, switch, blow out. Switch, breathe in, switch, blow out. Keep your head nice and steady for the while, for the time being. Continue three more, two more, and then hands behind your head. We are twisting, but listen, give me a double here, two, two, other side, one, two, two pulses. Good, just last time, reach, 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 and rest. It's a beautiful exercise, and we'll come back to it with weights. Right now, double straight legs. Now, I know that there are some teachers, depending on where they're trained, they might suggest that you wedge your hands under the buttocks. And I suppose you're going to do that here at home, I can't tell. But in Pilates, we don't wedge our hands under the buttocks. Instead, we lower the legs only to the point before your back starts to buckle up off the floor. You want to lower the legs only to the point right at which, ooh, you're thinking, oh, my low back, oh, my back. So stop before you start whining about, oh, my back. Go only so far as you can control. So, no hands. Inhale, reach. Oh my abs. Here we go again. Oh my abs. On this last one, I'll hold my legs out there, you know, not too low, and turn the feet out like a frog, and then bend my knees like a frog. This is just like ballet's plie. You're doing grand plie. Keep your feet turned out like a frog and let the knees open like a frog and push out to straight legs each time. Push out to straight legs. Now I'm holding on to my hand weights again and just holding on with some kind of a power. I'm galvanizing my arms and shoulders. Just turn everything on, brace yourself and close your ribs. Two more. And this one here, press away. I'm bending only one knee and both of my thighs have opened and then push away. I'm bending one knee and both my thighs are open. Push forward. In case you're confused because you know we got two legs, I can show you from your view would be easier here. One knee bend, both thighs are open. Push forward. One knee is bent, both thighs are open and push forward. Here is just like Peter Pan, or pull the bow and arrow. Notice that the bent knee foot stays at the 90 degree flexion at the knee and straighten. Here's bend and straighten. And all the while I'm holding onto the hand weights and turning my shoulders on, turning my chest on, keeping my ribs and abdominals on. Everything is braced. One more and then you can rest. 
Hug the knees into your chest. Whew, hug the knees into your chest. So this next exercise comes from the same single leg stretch, but we're going to only one direction and with the hand weight. Hold on to one hand weight with both hands. That is the direction to where you're going, right past the bent knee. You'll return to center when switching. Actually, we can go both ways in this case. Here I am on this side. Here I am on that side. Here is this side and that side. Your job is to keep your head up and straighten your leg every time. Here's reach, reach, reach. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so four more, three more, lift two more, and last one. That was a doozy. Hug the knees into your chest. Not exactly what I have planned, but it was a sort of a bastardized version. It worked out fine. Rock and roll, we'll be doing five total. I'll meet you at the top. Stay and test your balance. Over the weeks, I hope you're seeing an improvement on that one. Straighten one leg and then straighten the other and you can open and close a few times. Then close the legs and the arms reach above, reach side, forward, and lower your legs down. Keeping your legs closed, we're doing reverse plank right away. Reverse plank. Now the easy version, should you need to modify, is knees bent and you'll just lift your butt up into a tabletop like position. We are keeping our legs straight, much more like a plank, like a push-up plank. Get ready, inhale. Push through the arms and elevate your body and then clench the buttocks and push forward. Keep lifting through the hips, inhale. On the exhale, close your ribs and begin to come down. Soften the landing and come forward for the stretch. Stretch the shoulder blades nice and wide. As you come back, we'll repeat the same exercise, palms or knuckles, you decide what's best for you. Inhale. On the exhale, press through, lift. Keep the chest wide open, but be careful, don't throw your head away. Inhale, and then come on down. Reach forward for the stretch. Now there's another variation of that same exercise in which one leg will do a lift off of the floor. I'm gonna say lift, try not to make it a huge, you know, Radio City Rockettes kick. Don't kick, it might upset your balance. Here we are, inhale. First, rise up and one leg, lift. Same leg, lift, one more lift and then fix the buttocks inhale and come down soft landing forward and stretch the stretch is intended for the shoulder blades back come back and then let's do it again other leg of course inhale as you exhale push through arrive other leg and again and one more inhale fix the pelvis and then come on down. So I'm going to bend both knees and press the soles of my feet together and then come forward for the stretch. Loosen the shoulders as much as you can. Mm. Woo. And now, <laughs> sideline is next. I'd like to take the sideline exercises from knees bent in the kneeling position. So come on up to kneeling. Oh no, this might not be a good idea. I've got lotion on my legs, I'm slipping away already. <laughs> All right, let's try this. So I am kneeling and I'll be going in that direction. And just because my hands are kind of sore, I'll just pad the mat. When you're ready, lean in that direction, straighten out the opposing leg and then flatten the torso. The leg just does lift, lift, lift lift five six 
seven, and then circle the leg. My leg is not gonna lift much higher because it is uh, titanium and doesn't cooperate well. <laughs> Reverse, oof, mm-hmm. So now that is the leg that goes down on the ground, bring the other leg out and it's up under and from there, lift, 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 lift. Four, three, two, one, come all the way down. Here you can flatten out the mat, flatten the head all the way out and grab one hand weight and simply rest the weight on your outer thigh. Close the legs and lift both legs. You got it. Four. Keep breathing. Five. Pull the abdominals in. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Hold number ten. And in slow motion, we'll do that running like long stride. Oof. Scissoring like action. The top leg is going backward really well, isn't it? But the top leg isn't going forward too well. I might fall over. <laughs> I don't want to fall over. All right, and then from here, bend both knees. This will be clamshell, but just keep that weight. Uh, you hold onto the weight, resting, basically resting on the thigh. The lifting of the leg is where the exercise benefit comes lifting. Notice my feet are not attached. So keeping your feet detached, simply lifting and lowering. Try to come to your peak all the way up at the top and just hold on to the hand weight so it doesn't fall down to the ground. Now this will be my last one. I'm coming almost all the way up and pulse. Pulse. I'm barely holding on to the weight. You know, I just don't want to drop it. Here's four, three, Two, as you come down, don't rest, don't rest. Air bicycling. Imagine that you're riding a bicycle with just one pedal and you're swooping your leg through the air. Hold on to the hand weight as best you can, full arm's length. You know, you can't do anything about arms not being long enough. So just do the best you can. Here's my last one and I'm not done yet. So hold the leg in front. Toe tap, toe tap, toe tap, toe tap, and then leg rest. Let the weight fall off, you fall back. Oh, and rest. We did a bunch of exercises there. We went, we went from kneeling to top leg activity and then lower leg activity, and then we went all the way down to our side. Breathe. Oh, woohoo! All right, I am looking forward to happy hour, so let's keep moving. You should come up, and remember, we started in kneeling. I also took a precautionary fold there in my mat. I'm all the way upright and fixing my clothes because they never fit right. Okay, are you ready? Cartwheel, down on one side. Straighten out and also flatten out your whole torso. Leg lift, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, and, went, and we went to circles. Eight went to circles. And then reverse. Okay, you put that foot down any kind of way and get your bottom leg out in front. This will take a moment, lift, lift. Lift, lift, five, six, seven, and eight. Land softly, don't crash. Send the mat and your body all the way out. Calibrate and realign, and then place the one hand weight at the outer thigh, full arm's length. Lift the leg and make sure you're ready, and we go. One, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight. Here's nine. I'm going to hold number ten and try ooh, to open the legs as if I were in a wide stride. Oh, that top leg is not going forward very far because you'll fall over. 
but do try to get this top leg to go backward, squeeze your bum. <laughs> When your legs are together, knees bent, now the hand weight is much closer to the knee for clamshell. My hand weight is much closer to the knee as opposed to sitting all the way up at my shorts, all the way down on my knee. My feet are detached and I am lifting the thigh bone, kneecap toward the ceiling. Oh, hold on to the weights lightly just to be sure it isn't rolling away. Yeah, one more. Feel the buttocks and the outer thighs. Now don't rest. I am sending my leg forward in an air bicycling type pattern. From where you are looking at me, it might look like my foot is touching the floor, but it isn't touching the floor. I'm still elevated about six inches off of the floor and just staying on the horizon. My leg is sort of like, like a paddle or think of it as like a ladle and maybe you are spreading some cake frosting oh, on the top of a big cake, flat top cake. Last one, hold it straight, and now it's toe tap, toe tap, toe tap. Two more, what? Put the leg down, drop the weight off, and then roll back. Try to make yourself relatively comfortable, roll back. So now we can just flop onto our back, shift your body into the center of the mat, and we'll be using the hand weights again. So have one on each hip. Have one on each hip. Position your spine, all of the spine, from your head down through the low back, and then right to the end of the um, tail. Bring your feet in so that they're parallel. Get ready. Inhale. Use your exhale and peel it up. Once you've deflated all of the air out of your lungs, here we're going to pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep lifting here, lift, 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 lift. Like you can ratchet the pelvis up a tiny bit higher. Lift, lift. Here's four more, three more, two more. On the last one, hold the buttocks nice and tight and melt yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Soften the landing and bring the feet in just a tiny bit narrower. Here we go again. Push through the heels and arrive. Now today, I'm going to favor one leg. I won't be standing on one leg entirely, but I'm gonna favor one side of my gluteals for eight pulses. Here's two, three, Four. I'm heavy on this one, five. Here's six. Here's seven. I can almost lift the other one. Center and come on down. So now I'll be favoring the other leg and hip. I'm not going to lift one foot yet. As you exhale, rolling up. And favor leg number two. Right through the hip and right through the heel. Push through the heel and engage the gluteals. We have three more two more, last one, and then melting down. Bring the feet in even narrower now, not closed, just narrow, and be ready for leg extension, but leg extension is from the knee. So it's like your thighs never moved, your thighs creating a lap. You could place a laptop there and it wouldn't fall off. Get ready, inhale. As you arrive at the top of your bridge, your thighs stay even, leg number one, reach, tap, reach, tap, reach, tap, reach. Last one, return to flat feet. Fix the bum, leg number two. Here is reach, tap, reach, tap, reach, tap, reach to flat. Fix the buttocks, whoa, and then come on down one vertebrae at a time. Nicely done. This time, the exercise will 
becomes single leg, but it will be a lift of the leg simply to cross the ankle at the thigh. Get ready, inhale, peeling up. Your leg number one, lift to cross. Now press, press, press through the heel. I'm heavy on the heel, my toes are up, and push through your buttocks. Lift, lift, lift. Pause, replace the foot, and then melt down. One vertebrae, one vertebrae at a time. Of course, you know you gotta do the other leg. Get ready, inhale. As you exhale, whoosh, you're going to lift to cross. Now push, push through the pelvis, lift, lift through the pelvis, up, up a little higher, go. Four, three, two, hold it up there, return the leg, fix the butt, and melt down one vertebrae at a time. Nicely done. Put the hand weights aside, hug the knees into your chest. Make sure that you're getting ample stretching. When the knees are bent and the hip is coming all the way back, sorry, when your thigh is coming all the way back, the hip flexor is being bent like a hairpin stretch, a hairpin bend. So hug one knee and hug the other knee and your hip flexor is now being stretched in sort of a hairpin fold. Straighten the legs up toward the ceiling and spread the lotion around. <laughs> Knees bending and legs straightening. Repeat a few times. Try to get that motion to stretch the backs of your legs. I am going to hold on to one leg now and hold for the stretch. My other leg is resting on the floor. Rest. The leg in the air, you can flex. In fact, you can bend it and straighten it a number of times. Knee bending, knee straightening. The last time, you'll get to hold it nice and straight. In fact, if you want to open the leg to the side, you can. Your free arm is opposite, also open to the side. This hand is reaching for the couch. This foot is reaching toward the camera. Nice. Come on up, and then I suggest you bend both knees to switch legs. As soon as the leg arrives on the floor and down at rest, the other leg gets all of your attention. Draw the leg and then flex the ankle. Oh, pull it, pull it, and don't hold your breath. Whew, a little bend in the knee and a little straightening through the leg. Let's take the leg to the side, but don't drop it and don't throw it away. The opposite arm, sort of counterbalancing, you know, counterbalance. And then return the leg. Let's do scissors with your head up. From here, switch, catch, pull, switch, catch, pull, switch, catch, pull, switch, catch, pull. Keep those abdominals drilling down, head up, nice and high. Four more, three more, two, last one, and rock and roll forward and face down is next. If you need to pull the mat back or recenter yourself, face down, please keep moving. I'll meet you on the floor. Arrive on your forearms and several times lift and load. Lift and load. Oof. So I'm feeling pretty satisfied with that. Push up nice and high, and then raise the elbows if you can, and lift. Come all the way down, and starting with hand, hand, forehead. Close your legs. Today, legs closed. Inhale, shrug. Exhale, unshrug. Just twice more. On this last one, remain unshrugged. Lifting your head and peeling up. Let there be a little surge, and we'll do three surges. Inhale, surge. This is inhale, surge. One more, a little surge of energy, and then down, hand, hand, forehead. Repeat the same exercise, inhale. As you exhale, arrive. Keep your feet down, legs closed, and the buttocks clenched. Inhale, surge. 
Again, surge and one more like you're riding a wave and come on down. You'll, you're gonna wanna make sure that your hand weights are preset down by your hips, down by the hips. Preset your hand weights so you don't have to carry them down there. Get ready, we will be straightening the arms and grabbing the weights. So, inhale, on exhale, unshrug, lifting the head, stretching the arms and grab the weights. They may seem heavy at first, but they're going to assist you when you reach back. Keep reaching, three surges, surge. Inhale on the surge, one more, lift. Put the weights down, stack your hand, hand and forehead. We're gonna repeat the same exercise, so get ready. Here's the inhale, shrug. Exhale, unshrug. Once you peel up, you keep the toe at the buttocks, grab the weight, I am thumbs down by the way. Surge, one. Surge, two. Surge, three. Down with the weights, and palms down, knees bent, Push up. Sit back in your child's pose and get as much stretch as you can. You should sit there and breathe. Feel the breathing. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Oh, God. Thread the needle is next. Send out the arm underneath and land on the side of your head. Raise the arm up toward the ceiling. Try to open up that shoulder. My shirt is crowded around my chin, but I'm really keeping this chest open. And then return, careful, slide and go. Reach. Remember to keep the arm lifting up, 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 and away. And then return. Now in this final sit, my palms are very much far, far, far away, but I am not in a completely um, down, what's that called, child's pose. Oh. Oof. Now when I sit all the way back, this is much more like child's pose. Come up to all fours, hands and knees, and place one hand weight behind one leg. Manage that hand weight as best you can. Support the hands here if you can, and begin to lift that leg. Now, I have really tight hip flexors, so I can barely get my leg up, leg up, oh man. But when I do, <laughs> I can feel the gluteals, my buttocks right away. Continue with your flat foot stomping the ceiling and reach the arm. Try to maintain your alignment as best you can and stay uncrowded around the neck. Here's four more, three more, two more, and then leg down and leg lift. Leg down, leg lift. You could elbow your knee and straighten. Elbow your knee and straighten. Elbow your knee and straighten. Last one here, hold it there, tighten the buttocks, lift, 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 and then remove the hand weight, sink down, and then prepare to do the other leg. Get that hand weight back behind you, behind the knee and when you're ready you have started already up, 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 up. check the abdominals unshrug your shoulders pull the shirt away from your ears lift 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 and just four more three more two more pause and the arm extends the leg comes down, elbow, knee, and straighten. Elbow, knee, straight. One more, ah, don't fall. And then just pulse it, pulse it, pulse it, a little higher, a little higher, up, 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 oh my God, I feel it. And then slowly down. Remove the hand weight, you can sit 
sit back and just surrender, sink down nice and low, and breathe, 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 breathe. Oh. All right. Come on up to the downward dog position. Press through your heels. Stay and favor one leg so that you're much heavier on one leg. Keep breathing. And then favor the second leg, leg number two. Here I'm going to alternate one and then the other, switch with lots and lots of emphasis on stretching the back of the legs. Place both of your feet as flat as you can. Shake your head, yes, yes, yes. And then shake your head, no, no, no. Breathe. And then walk back to your feet. We're gonna slowly roll up, so take your time, slowly rolling up to standing. As you arrive, you can fix your mat, and I realize that you cannot see my head, but we're not done. Come back to where you were, and we are going to roll down, and this is the Pilates exercise, roll down and roll up in standing. I'm in Pilates V at my feet, at the end of the mat, I'm standing up nice and tall. Nod your chin down toward your chest, and then keep diving. Your head is heavy, the arms are heavy. Come as low as you can. Circle the arms around and still stretching, stretching, stretching. My fingertips and my hands are grazing the floor. Now, loosen the neck. Swing your head, yes, yes, yes. Swinging your head side to side. Hold your elbows in your hands and swing your elbow side to side. Now you can let go of the elbows and bend the knees a little bit and walk forward. Walk all the way to your plank, 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 plank. Drop one knee and let's do four push-ups. We're going one, two, three, and four and then switching legs. When you're ready, we're going one, two, three, and four. Then with both legs nice and straight, when you're ready, we're going one, two, three, and four. Last time through downward dog, not for long because we've been here already. Release the ankles, heavy on the heels, heavy through both heels. Shake out your head, last time, feel very satisfied, and then have a seat. Let your knees buckle and come on down to the mat. Ha! <sighs> that felt pretty good, getting those push-ups in, getting it in from the roll down, from standing. All right, this will conclude your 45 minute happy hour Pilates with me, Vivian Pilates B with Balance Gym. You're on the Balance Your Facebook page. Why are we calling it the happy hour class? Because I am so ready to have a drink. So you should applaud yourself for your good work, your dedication, your positive energy as you continue to exercise and do good things for yourself. There's like a darkness on my forehead right there. Oh my, all right, I'll put this bottle down. So remain positive. I uh, applaud you, cheering, cheering you on. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> cheering you on. I think you're going to do this workout on another day, right? I think Saturday morning, tomorrow. So thank you very much. Um, if you want to catch me live, I am live in person at Glover Park, Balance Gym Glover Park, Mondays and Wednesdays at 12 noon. We are outside, and there's air circulating. It actually feels pretty good since the temperature has been dropping lately. 12 o'clock, Mondays and Wednesdays at Glover Park. Hey, Merle, how are you? Thank you very much. Fridays is with hand weights, and the Thursday lunchtime class, no hand weights. Same, Monday, Wednesday lunchtime class, no hand weights. We're outside, everyone brings their own mat, or you can borrow the mat from the gym. 
Cheers to you. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of cheering the last three nights. Maybe you share the same sentiment. So cheers for our future. Ooh. I love it. This is why we exercise, isn't it? <laughs> All right. I appreciate your comments. Thank you very much. Ciao.